Today we're going to do some site inspections around a couple of resorts in Walt Disney World. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. We're going to start with Coronado Springs. Um, the architecture and colors around here, including the flora and the fauna, um, it definitely resembles those regions of Spain and the Southwest. Um, we're going to step into the Dahlia Lounge. Fun fact, there was actually an unfinished movie by Walt Disney and Salvador Dali where the woman turns into a bell, and you can actually see that here. Um, there's plenty of seating inside and out with great views. Um, the bar definitely, again, gives off that beautiful color scheme. Um, the walls, everything just kind of gives that off look because of the movie. You have to go and see it. on It's on Disney Plus right now, actually, if you want to look at it. Um, but everything kind of has that kind of interesting look. Um, the outdoor seating, the outdoor space is a beautiful lounge area where you can sit outside. Um, and of course, it's up high, so you have this just expansive view from out there. Um, lots of comfortable seating where you can just kind of hang out, enjoy yourself, enjoy the weather, and it's shaded um, depending on the time of day, so it looks absolutely amazing. Next, we're going to step into Toledo, which is the toppest uh, steak and seafood restaurant. Again, it gives that Barcelona feel. It's really beautiful. Has lots of great seating inside. Sorry guys, I was stepping out of somebody's way that was going by with a tray. Um, but it has this beautiful Barcelona feel to it. It looks amazing. It looks beautiful. It has beautiful seating. I love the design inside. And again, continuing with that color theme. You're going to hear me say that a couple of times. Um, the wall of um, wines over there that they have are actually some exclusive wines from Spain. It also has a wood fire oven, which just does it for me. That just, I mean, it just really just makes it for me. Um, this hotel with the color scheme, it just goes on where you really, it's just, it's those pops of color just, just really stand out and I really love it. This hotel has so many different room categories that are just um, enough for a family to be able to comfortably stay whether you have just double beds, but you definitely have those double sinks, you know, large closet space, it, it really works for a family. And again, you've got some great views depending on where, well, you know, which tower you're in, what size you're in. Um, and it has many different room categories, including um, the deluxe suite, uh, which has a separate living area, as well as a half a bath, which you'll see here shortly. All of the different room categories in this tower are just, it just really makes it for a, a larger family. So if you have a larger family, you definitely get away with um, staying in here and not too expensive. Actually, it's not, it's not too expensive. It, this is a uh, moderate hotel, um, believe it or not. So when we saw this space and, and when you look and you see what the pricing is on the on the on the uh, Walt Disney site, you're going to see that this isn't too expensive for a moderate hotel where you can get quite a bit of family in here. So now we're going to go over to the Barcelona Lounge. Again, this is another beautiful space and this is actually near the convention center um, and because this is one of the largest convention centers on the Walt Disney World property, um, you have a lot of different spaces where you can um, just go and relax, have a drink, have something to eat, have a snack, or just get away from it all for a second. There's lots of different restaurants that you can eat at over here, whether it's sit down, whether it's quick service. Um, there's a lot of uh, dining venues over here. Fun fact, if you guys look over that doorway, you're gonna see a hidden Mickey in the light. You can only see that if you use it, if you use a camera. So just take a moment, turn around, take a picture of it, or either just turn your camera on and look at it and you're gonna see those hidden Mickeys. Like I said, plenty of different places over here near the convention center where you can eat. Um, we definitely, um, you if you have a, a, a big venue that or need a big venue, this is gonna be it. All right, now let's head over to the Caribbean Beach Resort. Um, this is definitely the hub of the Skyliner. 
Um, it actually spokes out to Pop Century. It spokes out to another couple of resorts. Uh, and then it wraps around and actually um, goes to Epcot. Um, so this definitely is a resort that you would love to um, stay at if you want to ride the Skyliner because it is the hub and you get to see a lot of different ones. Now, this amazing resort, I love it. Um, it definitely has some character meet and greets here um, and it gives that distinct, that, that beachy Caribbean vibe right in the heart of Disneyland. And, you know, it gives that, that Little Mermaid vibe um, without you know, just directly saying Little Mermaid, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, which includes the Sebastian Bistro, uh, where you can get Latin Caribbean taste right on property near the beautiful pool. It is amazing. Um, the pool is large. It has, you know, a nice water park, a nice water area for the kids. Um, and like I said, you can just walk right out of Sebastian's and head over to the pool area um, where the kids can have some have a good time playing over there. It's really fun, really cute. It just really just gives all it just gives that beachy vibe right in the heart of Disneyland, Disney World. So it's exciting to see that. Now, this particular property has a several different room categories and the rooms have lots of bedding options for large families. Uh, we definitely love the um, not Little Mermaid, but giving Little Mermaid vibes, if you know what I mean, <laughs> type of room. Uh, but I think the kids will really enjoy this room. If you have a larger family, their kids will really enjoy this room because they've got a lot of these uh, little hidden Murphy beds in there. And you know how kids like stuff like that. Uh, but it actually just makes the room more spacious. Once you put it up, if everybody's gone, you know, uh, getting up for the day, um, you've got a lot of options where you can have a snack in the room. You've got extra storage, um, like this table that you can pull out. But again, those hidden Murphy beds, if you don't want to hang out on, if it's time to go to bed, you can pull this down right out of the wall. And there you have it, a, another hidden Murphy bed. And again, if you can look over the, you know, the top of the bed, you're going to see that Little Mermaid, not Little Mermaid, um, vibe that this room gives off and so it has an amazing um space for for a family so you actually you can have the beds pulled up you can have the beds pulled down um whatever it is that you need and you have double sinks you've got a separate shower and uh, toilet area so people can be getting ready in different spaces if you have a larger family so that works wonderfully uh in here now, we're going to head over to the Boardwalk Inn. This resort definitely has its own distinct old world vibe with a large airy rooms um, with some of them having uh, balconies. But what I love about this lobby, when you look around, you see those six murals on the wall. Those actually represent the six resorts around the world. So it represents the Orlando, the Anaheim, Hong Kong, Shanghai, and Tokyo. That's what those six murals are around the around the lobby. Um, I love the old world vibe with the uh, carousel. You definitely see that. It gives you kind of that carnival feeling when you're in there. So everybody kind of really likes that. As I was saying, the rooms definitely um, give off a um, kind of a Victorian almost, but it definitely just like a kind of an old world vibe to it. Um, I really love the, the antiquities, I guess I want to call them, around the rooms. But, you know, kind of like how this uh, closets look like steam trunks. <laughs> it just gives off that 1930s uh, kind of feel in there. But the rooms are open. They're airy. They're nice. Um, again, lots of space for a larger family. If you got a larger family, you can even get a balcony in some of the rooms, depending on um, the price point. You can get um, You can get a balcony where you can look out over the garden or or whatnot and again the balcony in itself still keeps that old world look and the bathrooms you still gonna get that double sink um so you can have multiple people getting ready at the same time the bathrooms and the shower is separate um, that's what i love about disney it definitely understands the concept of a family having to get ready together um but for me guys the showstopper at this resort are the 12 garden view rooms with club level access guys these only sleep two adults that's it 
two adults. The size of these rooms is amazing. Um, you've got so much space, but guess what guys? This is more like a honeymoon spot. This is what I definitely would say if you've got some adults at Disney who want a honeymoon, this is gonna be the spot for you. It is a, it's a beautiful and I love it. Two adults, all that space, it's the perfect honeymoon spot for me. All right, guys, let's head over to the Grand Floridian. In my opinion, this is the crown jewel of Walt Disney World. Um, just the Victorian elegance, that soaring um, lobby. It's just beautiful. You're a hop skipping away from Magic Kingdom, so you're already in that, in that princess vibe. It's got um, beautiful, tasteful furniture. The piano in the lobby just gives it, it and the um, caged elevator, it just sings movie star, in my opinion, at the Grand Floridian. Fun fact, in 1994, there was actually a movie filmed here. Um, if you guys know what it was, go ahead and drop it in the comments. I'd love to know if you guys know what movie was filmed at this resort in 1994. Anyway, as I was saying, the Grand Floridian is a beautiful space um, and it just gives that uh, that Victorian beautiful elegance. It's lovely. The large lobby, the big giant chandeliers, the grounds are beautiful. And you can actually take a water taxi from the Grand Floridian um, over to Magic Kingdom. So, of course, that's always fun. That's always a good time to be had. Um, everybody, you know, uh, well, not everybody, but <laughs> we like to take a water taxi when we're going somewhere. These rooms actually just jump out at you and say, Mary Poppins. Um, and if you would take a quick little peek, a close look, you can actually see Mary Poppins family in the um, in the wallpaper. Um, the rooms are spacious. The rooms are airy. Again, it gives that that grand Floridian feel. All right, guys, this concludes our tour. Thanks for hanging.